by reaching their fourth cup final in four years. Well, the team news is good. Graham Roberts and Nick Hazard were both declared fit after intensive treatment, and Mark Falco is back after suspension. Gary Stevens comes in at number 10 because Gary Mabbott has a groin strain, although Mabbott is named among the substitutes, along with Garth Crooks, Alan Brazil and Ray Clements. Glenn Hoddle only just off crutches, but Spurs hopeful that Ozzy Ardiles may be fit for the final if they get through. As for Hajduk Split, well, they're without three of their internationals too through injury, but they do have three of the men responsible for taking Yugoslavia into the European Championship finals. Goalkeeper Simovic, number four, Ivan Gudeli, and number nine, Zoran Vujovic. The referee tonight from Italy, Paolo Casarin, who was a strong official in the 1982 World Cup. Indeed, he showed the first red card of the tournament. Spurs all in white, start 2-1 down. And the Yugoslavs in the stripes, with Galvin on the ball for Tottenham. And the header out early on was by Chop. They've got two defensive players in midfield, have Hajduk split, and you can only expect them to push two up front. Number 10 there, Prakazi, normally a winger. Thomas. Number nine, Falco. Taken by Hazard. Now Miller. Testing out Vulic, the right back, who wasn't the first choice. Rosic is the captain and sweeper, but Vulic, a little nervous was penalised. Falco, the scorer of the Tottenham goal in the first leg, waits as Perryman prepares to take the kick and chips it in. And Stevens with a chance. And they let him go, the defenders. And it wasn't a clean header by his standards. And it should have been better. Perryman took the kick. It wasn't good defending, and look how much space Stevens had, but he was up almost too early and too high. Mick Hazard, volleyed forward well by him, and Falco ahead of Yarolimov there, who then tangled with him. Falco claimed a free kick quickly, and it was taken to Galvin. Perryman Galvin again it's a decent cross and Simovic had to come for it Prakazi Zoran Vujovic whose twin brother is not fit tonight Slatko Vujovic but this is Pesic now Gudeli is well forward and there was no flag Here's Miller for Tottenham. They've got to be patient, but the onus is on them. Spurs to push forward. A goal behind, remember. But an away goal in hand, so 1-0 here would do it for Tottenham. Pesic. Good tackle by Chris Hutton. Flag was up for offside. The referee played on, and this is Archibald. And he's forced a corner of Chop. is forward Galvin to take it swinging in towards Paul Miller Peels for handball number four Ivan Gudeli protesting about the decision but it's been given Perryman and Hazard the Tottenham players round the ball Miller and Roberts are both forward And has 
Richardson goes for goal. Oh, yes! Spurs in front. Nick Hazard. Well, they've worked so hard to get him fit. And look how he proved how worthwhile it was, all that treatment. He found the corner of the net from the free kick. And he's gone straight off down the dressing room as though he's got a problem. But Hazard has put Tottenham in front, he may need treatment again. But Simovic got his fingers to it and couldn't keep the ball out the corner. Seven minutes gone, Spurs one up on the night. The aggregate score 2-2, but Tottenham technically ahead in the tie on away goals. What a start then here for Keith Birkinshaw's team, although they're temporarily down to ten men. Yarolimov for split. This is Vulic. And the chairs are for Mick Hazard, who is back in action. The goal scorer. Mick Hazard does wear contact lenses. And I just wonder when that goal went in, whether in all the excitement he dropped one and had to go into the dressing room to put it back in, because that's what it seemed like to me. He was just touching his eyes, he came back on. Forward by Hazard. And Archibald. And that too was a good effort. But the supply line to the forwards is coming from number seven, Nick Hazard, who is playing superbly. And that long kick has left two against two here. And it's awkward, Prakazi's in there. And Perriman, Pe Pesic had the shot as Perriman challenged, and it could have gone anywhere. Fortunately for Parks, it didn't carry. And he was able to retrieve it. That was an anxious moment for Spurs here as Perriman challenged, came back off Pesic and nearly went into the far corner. Just a warning there for Spurs, if they leave two defenders back against two forwards, then the long kicks of the opposing goalkeeper from Simovic, who's got such a powerful clearance, could put Tottenham in difficulties at the other end. Here's Galvin, lofted in for Archibald, can he get it down? He could! It was a brilliant effort in the way he got that ball down and it was a snapshot in the truest sense of the word by Steve Archibald and the goalkeeper a fine save down to his right. Vulic. Well, that was a fair ball and Pesic will reach it. Vujovic is in the centre. Miljush is coming from left back and cleared after Hazard missed it by Houghton. Tottenham are defending untidily for the moment and Hajduk split perhaps sensing their opportunity and forced a free kick against Paul Miller. It was he who brought down Gudeli. Whatever the advantages of the early goal for Tottenham, this tie by no means over. And Prakazi hit that. Oh, and Tony Parks, goodness me, and Bujovic on him. And Tottenham with their hearts in their mouths there. And Tony Parks with the ball in his hands at the end. But oh dear me, only just Prakazi hit it. And Parks lost it. Up against the bar it went. And he grabbed it on its way down, but only just. And on goes Archibald, and Falco's in here. Comes to Stevens. Support from Thomas. And now it's Hazard. And the referee brings the first half to an end with Spurs leading on the night by one goal to nil.
number seven, Nick Hazard, scored it appropriately in the seventh minute. Went off for a couple of minutes to adjust a contact lens, I think that's what it was. Came back, but Tottenham couldn't improve on their lead. And Hajduk split, technically behind on the away goal at present, are still very much in the tie. Hajduk split, currently lying second behind Red Star Belgrade in the Yugoslav Championship. Very much the story of their history, that. They've uh, lived in that shadow a little. In their best European performance, the semi-final of the Cup Winners' Cup in 73, when they lost to Leeds. was Miller, Perryman, Thomas, and back by Rosic, but there was a flag up for offside. Thomas, and now Gary Stevens. Good battling by him. Four in the centre for Spurs here. And Hazard's there again. Heading not his strong point, but it was a good move. Steve Archibald, who was the supplier of the cross, and Hazard just sending it across the goal and wide. And here's Pesic. Better first touch there, and he would have been in a shooting position. Tottenham still got a lot of business to get through here. Against a team of good technique, but Hazard shown plenty of that tonight. What a lovely ball that was to Stevens. And the drive by Gary Stevens, bringing Simovic down to his left to make another good, tidy save. Roberts, Falco, and now Archibald, and Roberts is in the centre, unmarked, and he can be found. Oh, offside anyway in the end. But let's just have a look back to a thunderous shot by Gary Stevens, And this goalkeeper, Simovic, who could be on the move at the end of the season when his contract is up, is obviously a keeper of high calibre. Miljus. Vujovic, and a chance for Prakazi to put Pesic in, and Pesic, oh, what a brilliant save on the line by Graham Roberts, and Pesic cursed his luck, because this is how close Hajduk were to going back in front in the tie. Prakazi to Pesic, Tony Parks came, but the man to watch for, Graham Roberts, with a clearance which Tottenham will remember for some time, providing they can survive the corner, which follows. to be taken by Brikazi. And Yarolimov was up. Archibald has come back to contest it. And some tangling between him and Milush. Falco, beaten by Chop. And the header on there. What a good effort on the run by Yarolimov. Roberts is hurt, one hopes that isn't the knee ligament injury again, but Yarolimov got his shot in early and Parks made a good save on his six-yard line. Just over a quarter of an hour left, Perryman for Spurs. And Archibald for the chance! Beautifully made by Perryman, the opening. But Archibald, a bit hurried at the end, stabbed it wide of the post. There were defenders either side, but he's scored from there before. Stevens concedes the free kick. Rosic to 
take it. Yerolimov, well forward, the big number seven. That's his touch in. Miller's clearance. Back in by Chop, driven by Hazard. Can Galvin make it? Not against Shushin Yara. Whose pass that was. Touch was by Vujovic. And then Yerolimov, and now Prakazi on the left. Prakazi comes inside Thomas, then goes outside him. And gets a free kick, which could, from Hajduk's point of view, offer a true opportunity. A goal here would put them back in front in the tie, and they've got seven players forward. Prakazi will take it. It's going to come to Shushin Yara and players to block and also to block from Bullic, which Hazard did. Forward by Rosic. Miller asked to head it out. Wasn't certain of it. Thomas got a foot in. Hazard did also. And Tottenham breathe again and a good ball. Hilton to Falco. And back to him again, Hilton. Three waiting in the middle. Galvin is one of them. Archibald is far side. Good save, Simovic. Archibald's volley. Simovic adjusting his position slightly to keep his side in the match. Yaralimov forward again with the flip. Archibald's volley, the keeper save. The Spurs are going to bring off Gary Stevens, who's got a hamstring. And he'll be replaced by... The man who he came in for, really, Gary Mabbott, who himself has got the recurrence of a worrying groin injury, but will be fit enough to get on for these last ten minutes. Paul Miller, and Yaralimov was there, and Bukhazi was there, and Yaralimov, and Hewton. What a let-off for Tottenham. But there could be something happening at the other end. Archibald. Well, it won't now, that was a waste. Shushin Yara. Milius. The player running on is Pesic. And Yaralimov's there again, the overhead kick by Perryman. The clearance by Hazard, and two against two. Archibald. Falco goes to the right, Galvin to the left. Takes on Shushin Yara. And Falco comes in, but the ball was over the line. Not the best of crosses, that, actually, by Tony Galvin. Spurs still biting their fingernails. Certainly the supporters are. And figuratively speaking, so are the team. I'm sure they are on the bench. Foul by Shushin Yara. Tottenham will be glad to let a few seconds pass. We're going into the last minute of normal time. What a taut, tense climax this is at White Hart Lane. Newton has the ball. Now Perryman. They mustn't give it away. Hazard. Galvin. And Galvin still. Oh, dear me. The Tottenham finishing in the second half. The final pass and the shots well below standard, but them mighty close now Thomas Archibald wants it played long Falco and Archibald surely oh, Simovic saves very well from his point of view here's Galvin it's a good cross and again the goalkeeper Keith Birkinshaw on the bench knows how close it is now. We're in stoppage time. And there it is in his last season. He sees Spurs go to their fourth cup final in four years. It was the goal by Nick Mazza that did it. After seven minutes in the first half, Spurs go through to the final.
to play Anderlecht, but they go through only on the away goals rule. And as they celebrate, and White Hart Lane applauds the familiar tune of glory, glory, hallelujah, a word about Hajduk Split, a Yugoslav team of high technique and high morale. How close they came to spoiling Tottenham's dream. Close, but not close enough.